Hello there everybody, welcome today. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different reading. We're going to talk about um, the home. We're going to look at uh, where you live, um, do you need to move, are you looking for somewhere at the moment, you know, um, timings. We'll try and get as much information as we can. So we've got a selection of keys here for you out uh, with crystals. Um, so all you need to do is have a little look, see, we have, um, let me just show you, we have citrine, this is going to be pile number one, we have iron pyrite, pile number two, and we have some amethyst, for pile number three. As always, just pause if you can't choose, if you can't decide, that's okay. Um, you can always stop the video and uh, jump to where you need to be. <laughs> if you get more than one uh, pile that you want to look at, uh, definitely do that because they could be there or messages in there from both piles for you. So we're gonna go ahead and start. That we're going to go for pile number one, the citrine. Okay, okay, there. And these, this set of keys, very interesting set of keys as well. Oh, all right, pile number one, please. Situations at home, their home, their house, oh, their apartment, wow, we've got two jumping out, let's see what we have there first, okay, we have, oh, okay, oh, okay, my darlings, pile number one, we have an emphasis here on friendship, we've got disappointed so far, um, could be looking to move closer to people that uh, that you know. Um, could be a little bit distant at the moment from them. It's just not not horrendously far, but just you know, it would be fantastic if you could be a little bit closer to them. You know, um, I kind of get the impression that at the moment you are disappointed with the people that you are around neighbors problem neighbors i can hear a dog barking for example i can also hear somebody like rattling on the fence or banging on the fence there very interesting we do have here i need to let you know that um things are different to how they seem um at the moment so your perception of the situation currently, um, you actually have more power, you have more control, uh, you don't need to be intimidated um, by, by that person, especially the neighbourhood problems. I do see as well parking, parking as an issue and the bins, oh my goodness, there's a lot going on here. Of course, some, some places it's very difficult to get parking, um, so you're very lucky if you have parking, but then, oh my gosh, yeah, got a choice at the moment, a decision. Sorry, they interrupt me because they're saying, oh, you know, let's talk about that. What do you do? What do you do in this situation? So let's see, what should par number one take action on, please? I'm stopping. Oh, okay, maybe seeking um, help from um, an authority. Um, maybe a mediator, could be the council, could be um, the police, but they're saying, you know, seek advice from an authority. What else does pile number one need to know, please? Oh, I'm stopping. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's see, double. We've got the King of Swords. We've now got the Queen of Swords. So you need to be this kind of character. You need to embody this energy. Uh, it's not gender specific, but what the Queen of Swords is all about is boundaries, you know. She knows where those boundaries are. 
um, and um, she's quite an intimidating figure. People don't tend to go up against the Queen of Swords because they know they it's going to be a tough challenge for them if they they start to um, you know push push those boundaries or push their luck with her, you know, because uh, she's a fighter. She's a warrior energy. So basically we're not sort of quietly fighting back here we need to be a little bit more um proactive especially if you're having difficulties with the neighbors right let's see oh my gosh yeah someone's having trouble um with I'm, I'm just getting a lot of noise a lot of noise okay so oh my gosh there's loads coming on through now <laughs> boundaries <laughs> Oh dear, dear, it would be lovely, wouldn't it, if everyone could just get along and be nice to one another and know how to live next door <laughs> to one another or across the street. But um, unfortunately, people do tend to take their problems out on other people. Um, you know, and they don't seem to acknowledge or understand that those social niceties are there so that you can get along with other people they um or so that basically you want you know how to get on with other people and everyone knows where they stand and everything's lovely um but you do get those people then that are just like they don't seem to acknowledge that there are social constructs there and so they're always pushing and they go like well what's the problem with that you know why can't i park my car there or why can't i do this or why can't i do you know they're very sort of um argumentative unnecessarily that's probably why you need to be getting in this sort of higher authority um because they can step in and say hey do you know what you can't do that that's not acceptable etc etc so let's see what else we have for you oh okay yeah we've got this uh social energy here some of you here you could be living close to um like a meeting place or gathering place. So it could be anything from like a church to a pub, uh, to a high street, um, somewhere where people come together. You're not in a quiet space anyway. Um, there's definitely uh, close by. There is a reason why people come. Oh yeah, I'm just getting here. It could be a school. You know, people do tend to park a bit crazy around school places. Mm, we have a new beginning coming in for you, a new start. Let's see what that's all about. What is this new, what is the star all about for pile one, please? I'm um, just hearing a question. Um, I will hopefully remember that in a second. Uh, we've got the emperor here. So yeah, it's about being that sort of, it's that authority figure. So if you get that person involved, it seems like it will be, um, it doesn't have to be an individual, it can be. Um, you know, a group of people, a collective energy, um, you know, like a council, uh, you know, especially if you're parking, uh, if, if you live close to a school or a church, for example, you can always contact that, um, uh, that place and say to them, hey, you do realise, um, you know, I can't get on my driveway <laughs> or I can't park outside my house. Um, can you tell your people to not park here, please? You know, you can always contact them, complain to them, um, but it does seem like it's escalating upwards. So we do have escalation here. Um, let's just see. Um, is there a timeline here for pile number one around their home problems? Oh, look at that. We've got an empress. So we do have two matching pairs here for you. It's really lovely to see that. The empress is, of course representative of um you know stability nurturing within the home gosh i can just hear somebody just yelling here i would say don't be afraid of the comeback um like don't be afraid uh, of somebody bullying you um you know if they're using intimidation tactics then you know oftentimes bullies they are all about the show. Um, so if you push back, they will either they will do one of two things. They will either ignore you from that point moving forward because they know that you are bigger challenge than they are, um, or you know you're going to be um, <laughs> you're going to be very difficult for them to deal with, or 
um, what will happen is they will feel as though you have embarrassed them, their ego will take over and they will push back harder and harder and harder. So what you do need to do is why it's important to make sure you do have um, authorities on your side, you have um, you know, everything that you need to prove your point um, and you need to be doing it correctly, you need to be going about it correctly. Um, so I can see here as well, like someone's just emptying out a bag of flour or something. Um, they, they're just emptying it out on the ground. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I can hear, um, <laughs> I can see, <laughs> I can see the word Karen on the name Karen. Like somebody could be calling you a Karen or they could be behaving like a Karen. Um, but we have that here. Um, very, very silly, but yeah, uh, in this sort of situation, when everybody thinks that they are correct, it's like a no-win situation. You definitely need to get that um, outside input, that third-party input there. So, pile number one. That was quite interesting. I hope you get things resolved. Oh, yeah, the timing. They just wanted to give this to, to me here. Um, they were just reminding me that Empress is the timing. We are talking about the number three. So, we could get three days, three weeks. Um, I am leaning towards three months because anytime you get an outside body in, um, especially on authority, then uh, they, they do seem to delay, delay, delay. So if you've already started that process, that is fantastic. You should be getting an outcome on that very soon. Um, but yeah, we've got that number three there. So keep that in mind. It could also be as well the third of the month. So I will just leave that with you now. Um, thank you so much. I hope you have a blessed, wonderful day. Let's move on to pile number two. If you chose the iron pyrite, hello, welcome. This was your key that you chose. Fantastic. Keys are very symbolic um, as well. Um, obviously, they do represent the home very often, but they represent a multitude of things. So let's see. What does pile number two, show me pile number two's home situation. What is going on with pile number two's home situation, please? House, apartment, whatever it might be. Oh, okay, let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh dear i didn't mean to chuckle then it's just it just kind of reminded me of um uh my own situation a little bit but um uh i think we've all encountered this from time to time we have somebody here who's a little bit non-committal to things so if you're trying to get something done within the home if you're trying to achieve things it could be housework it could be doing some big jobs like renovation you need things that need actually doing we've got this non-committed energy here somebody who just like keeps kind of oh you know a bit wishy-washy oh you know that that does sound great you know that would be great but you know um yeah i'm not going to do that now so a little bit um holding back um, but yeah, look, you have lots of ideas and dreams and plans here. You've actually got everything worked out. You know, you could have drawings, you could have the, the you know, things like paint picked out that you want uh, to be putting up. Um, you can have all kinds of things here going on and you really want to get it done. But this person is blocking you because they're a little bit non-committal. Yeah, this is causing a lot of tension within the household. It could be as well. Um, yeah, no, it's, it is all to do with the home and things that you need at home. It could be, you know, like simple things as well. If you need um, clothes or shoes or, you know, groceries or um, whatever it might be. We've got this gatekeeper energy here, this person who always seems to be negative and saying, oh yeah, no, I, I like that, I like that, I like that. But then when it comes down to actually doing it, sorting it out, they're a little bit, mm, well, you know, but very negative energy. It tends to be somebody that has depression, that kind of behaves like this. Um, they could have a lot of anxiety as well. Um, you know, it's like they get unnecessarily uh, wound up or anxious in situations that they really it's disproportionate to uh, to the situation um, basically it's anyone who doesn't like change <laughs> this is this is the kind of energy that you're dealing with uh, what else please 
Oh, we've got heartbreak. Yeah, I feel like if they're not careful, it's like they're losing you here because of their behavior. We do have on the plus side, we do have a huge transformation. We do have change coming on through. Yes, look at that. Um, right, they could be gaslighting you here a little bit, making you think you're getting tempted. It's not really you. Your house is fine. Your relationship is fine. Um, all things like that are fine. You're just um, watching too many TikToks, too many reels, too much of this, too much of that. You've got all these big plans and they're not, um, you're not seeing the truth. So they, you know, you're not seeing the reality of what you have at the moment, which is, you know, they, they think they're trying to be real. And on some cases, sure, they could be perfectly justified, but I get the impression that what they have is a very disproportionate sense of how much things cost, um, how much time it's going to take them. Um, they think you're putting all the work uh, their way when actually you could do it yourself you know it seems like there's a lot going on there that is a little bit they're not really understanding what it is that you're uh, requesting or asking of them if that makes sense um so yeah if you say to them oh you know you could just be getting their their ideas you could just be getting their inputs you know um and you're not really asking them to do it for you you'll you'll just yeah they're just completely misinterpreting what it is that uh, that you're asking oh gosh or what you're saying is he, yeah it's like you're communicating and they're just closing it down oh my goodness yeah so we do have an avoidant energy that could be from them also very much so they just rather than because they if they think you're going to just bring something up again like oh let's redo the wardrobe <laughs> they'll just kind of shut down and distract themselves and do something else instead oh it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort on your part i think you know if there's some things that you want to get done around the house just you gotta you gotta just go for it um they will learn i think if you start in small ways rather than going for the big projects first of all if you start small they will start to see the improvement the benefit it may well lift them up out of this situation then what you'll find is they'll start coming to you and saying um you know coming to you with their own ideas and um you'll be surprised you'll be like, wow i didn't even think so try try to go small to start with. It's more as an encouragement for them so that they can uh, get out of this sort of uh, this slump energy that they are in at the moment. Um, right. So yeah, it's taking. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what I just said. You'll have to take action. You'll have to take charge. Oh, yeah, head versus heart, because I feel here with this, you really want them to be included, you really want them to be involved, and they're just, they're just a little bit, meh. So, you know, if you don't know how to use a drill, there's plenty of videos on YouTube available showing you how to do things. Um, start doing things for yourself, get yourself all ready. Don't tell them you're going to do it, just do it. Um, it will make a massive difference. What else, please? Oh, yeah, look. Five of Cups. You'll start to realise here. So we do have the number five coming up for you quite often. We've got a huge change or shift coming up within the home at the moment. And I think that's what it is. This is what we're talking about. The dynamic is shifting from um, you being this sort of nurturing, caring energy that lets everybody, you know, do what they want to do and you support them to you being in charge and just going ahead and doing uh doing things to, to make the home nice to make it more um because sometimes it's not just about the way it looks it's about how um how you function in the home you know how you put things away where you put them it's reorganizing and i think um not everybody understands that it takes a while to really appreciate that 
the reason we do things that we do. It's not just so that they look pretty in the home, but so that we have a place to put things. We notice where the clutter is and we need to then do something about it. And if that means putting a shelf up, then that's what we want to do. You know, it can be simple things, but yeah, transformation. I think they start to get a little bit disappointed with themselves. Um, and look, they, look, here we go. Dreams, ideas, visions of the future. Exactly that. Exactly that. It makes them stop and think about what they're doing and how they've been behaving. So, oh my goodness. I have to say straight away, this read has not gone the way that I thought it was going to go. But I think it's the question I'm asking to like show me the home. <laughs> um, so, this is really good. This is really good. You may well feel drawn to more than one pile. And that's absolutely fine. But thank you very, very much there, pile two. Um, take care. You're going to do well. Um, you know, you, you don't have to be perfect if it's your first time trying something out. You know, doing something. Yeah, make it what you do. So good stuff. My darlings, here we go. We're moving on to pile number three. Ooh, it's quite focusing. We've got this lovely amethyst for you, this piece of amethyst. And uh, this set of keys. So let's see what we have for you today. Oh, I like the sound of that. Lovely. Right, pile number three. What is going on? at home for car number three what is going on in the sanctuary oh my goodness the home should definitely be the, sh the sanctuary shouldn't it oh okay oh my gosh we have maybe an opportunity to move all right okay now i would say here with this don't take it negatively if um you know you 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 feel like you're being forced into a move does that make sense because everything happens for a reason um and very often we don't appreciate um at the time when life is changing around us we don't always uh kind of embrace the change but right here look we have this message here this kind of this message about what your home um what you need to be doing what's going on here this is kind of a small offer it's not really exactly what you're wanting so if you are actually you know moving you've got your house on the market hang in there we do have a bigger offer coming your way we've got the ace of coins this is fantastic um obviously anytime you get um an opportunity whether it's a small or a big one you need to um, definitely take advice which one is going to suit you because some of you you may want to move quickly some of you you may want to just get the best deal we always want to get the best deal but sometimes the best deal doesn't just include the price what it includes is um, peace of mind it includes the speed um, it includes well yeah I think peace of mind is you know completely underrated in this sort of situation um so with that one here we do have the star card as well so we've got a brand new beginning coming in for you it's a lot of hope it is a wish fulfillment so you are going to be getting exactly what you want here so this is great so I feel like we should ask about timings on this I do think you could be selling a property that's not yours um Let's just see, or property overseas or buying something overseas. Oh, that's not going to be for everyone. That's just going to be for some of you. We do have a sort of a celebration energy here with this three of cups. I think, you know, yeah, some of you here, you're selling something that is not yours. It could be an inherited property or a commercial property, as in, you know, you don't live there. Um, Let's have a look. Yeah, look, two of cups here. You will be collaborating very nicely. These two cards are both about teamwork working um working with others working nicely getting along being everybody's in agreement so it's fantastic <laughs> um yeah look we have the truth coming out as well so it's not just about the truth it's about seeing things clearly seeing the situation for how it really is um so what that means here for you is basically if you have big hopes and big ambitions um to do with the home at the moment it may not be the right time to really fulfill on those for yourself because we have to make sure that all of the um, material things are taken care of first it actually does say on this ace of coins is that we are um, decisions on 
are made of material matters. So we really need to take that opportunity, realize we are in a position of power. We don't need to be forced into things. And we know that we are making the right decision about stuff because it's going to affect you also. Oh, what next, please? We have... Oh, okay. Yeah, see that number three is coming up again. It is a waiting energy, I'm afraid. Um, but then look, we do get that wish fulfillment. So that's sort of a double clarity there with that star card also. We've got celebration. Now that could also be a timing for somebody here. Um, if somebody is, uh, you know, if you've got a big celebration coming up, I'm seeing ruby. Um, I'm seeing the word ruby. I can actually see the color as well. Um, I don't know why that's important. I need to just give that to you. Um, what else have we got here, please? Yeah, I keep getting October, 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 um, somewhere around the third week here. This is this is your timeline here. We've got some big reason to celebrate. You could be going to a party. You could be going out for drinks to celebrate somebody's birthday here, something along those lines. But that is your timeline at this moment. Um, we've got the four of swords here also you will be um, there will be something you have to kind of give up on in order to be successful here um, so you know try not to be too much of a um, like too focused on achieving uh, a certain thing um, so for example if you want to get the price bang on um, Say it's 300. I just sort of plucked that out of the air, just a random number. So say you're stuck on 300, but somebody comes to you and they've got 280 or 260. Um, there does need to be some flexibility there. Um, at the moment, I feel like you're thinking around the, the, the five, the increments of five. So say if it's 305 or 295, you, you will go with that five either way. Um, that bear in mind we could be talking about monthly rent we could be talking about uh, a price a purchase price a sale price but what they're kind of saying here is that in the long run you've got to think about what is important what is the goal here and that's what the focus should be and we've got to then within that work out what is going to be the best best deal for you so do make sure that you're speaking to people that uh, know the business, know what they're talking about. Um, you know, they work with it every day and they can kind of give you an idea like what's going to happen moving forward in terms of any markets and, um, you know, what, what you what you might be getting out of it. Because I feel here there is a fear with you that you're going to miss out somewhere. But you've got to think with this sort of thing, it's always about the moment. It's always about what's good for you at this time. And I, I kind of get the impression as well, although we've got this brand new beginning, this lovely new start here, it's not a forever, forever. It's just that opportunity to get you to where you need to be. It's like a stepping stone energy. So again, if you, you know, if you're desperate to sell, for example, um, but you want to find like your dream perfect house, um, you've got to think what's more important here. Is the sale the important thing or is the dream house the important thing? You know, do you have the patience to wait for the dream house um, or, or are, you in a, are you in a rush basically? So we've got to think about all of those factors, not just the, uh, not just the price. So my darlings, pile number three, I will leave that with you. Um, thank you so much for watching and um, take care and I'll see you next time.